So I have a few things to do today, so I thought I'd bring you along with me. Uh, it's nothing new. Um, I've posted videos on weaning and breeding before, but um, with raising rabbits, it's something that you're constantly doing all the time. So, so while I'm out here, I want to um, wean Thumper's kits. They're actually too old to be in there with her right now. I kind of dropped the ball on it. That's why it's so important to document. I had it all documented, but we just recently processed one litter and I had a litter that was just born a week ago. So there's been a lot going on and it just kind of got away from me. Um, but Thumper has five kits in with her right now and they need to be weaned right now. So I'm going to take them all out because um, I know that none of them are um, nursing at all. They're just too old. Um, they're nine weeks old at this point. So I'm going to go ahead. We just processed and emptied out our grow out hutch. So I'm going to move over um, Thumper's kits into the grow out hutch, which is right behind me. And even if it kind of worked out well because the rabbits that were in there, we recently just processed um, just in time for the new litter to move into the grow out hutch. But even if those rabbits weren't ready to be processed, I still could have moved um, the younger kits in with my grow outs. Um, it's easy to tell the difference with what, who's who, and I just separate them by male and female and just add them to the other grow outs, which would have been perfectly fine. And then I just would have processed the ones that are ready and then left the ones um, that still need to grow out a little bit more. Um, but today I gotta go um, check on Thumper, um, take all of her kits out, put them in the grow out hutch. Um, I'm going to go around, give everybody their water and food and hay. Um, and then I'm going to take a quick peek at Lucky's kits. She has um, some babies in there that are a little under two weeks old. So I need to check on them. Um, I'm probably going to give them a new box because they're probably old enough to start coming in and out of the box at this point. So I'm going to give them that, but I have a lot to do. And we're going to be, we've been getting a, quite a few snowstorms lately and we're getting another one tonight and it's going to get dark soon. So I have a lot to do in little time. So let's get it done. All right. So here's the kits that I have to put in the grow out hutch. There's five of them and they're nine weeks old. They're way too big to be in here right now with mom. I'm going to take care of that today, get them where they need to be. And they're thirsty, so I'm going to go ahead and move them over, and then I'm going to try to breed Thumper. She always gives me a hard time, so hopefully I can get a couple fall-offs from her today. Are those paw prints? Oh my gosh, there's paw prints. Wow. So they all jumped when I went in. Usually I'll take two at a time, but they all jumped in here and there's only five of them. So I took their bumper's resting mat, covered it and carried them over here. Made it kind of easy. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I mean, not that that's anything abnormal, but I mean, we have, we've had coyotes and stuff. Obviously we live in near, we live in the middle of the woods, but I've never had prints underneath of the rabbit hutch like this, especially so close to the house. You guys can come out, come on. Let's go. Get out. Out, out, out. So, one thing I wanted to mention, the reason why I separate them by male and female when I wean them is because 
at this age, they can start showing breeding behaviors, um, but they usually won't do it with, they, they will, but usually litter mates that have been together the whole time, that's usually, it's not usually an issue with them trying to breed together. Um, but sometimes, like I mentioned earlier, sometimes I will have a couple litters and um, they'll have to be like my last litter um, that I just processed was in here. And if these um, were to be weaned a couple weeks earlier, they would have been in here with the ones that I recently processed. So there would have been two different litters in these hutches. And if I add, um, if I were to not separate these and add in um, some rabbits from a different, completely different litter, a younger litter, um, they would, the rabbits don't know each other, um, they're new to each other, and that's when it, they're more likely to try to um, breed. Um, from what I've noticed, and from my experience anyways, um, that's what I've noticed. So, so when I know that I'm going to have two litters put in the same hutch, um, even if they're processed at different times, um, that's why I'm so um, careful about making sure that I um, separate them by male and female. This litter isn't going to have another litter in with them at all. So I'm just going to leave them the way they are. Um, if I notice them trying to breed or anything, I will separate them out, but I don't think that's going to be a problem, really. Um, they've, I mean, it, they've been together for a while, and I'm not too concerned about it. So I'm going to give them some food, water, and hay, and they'll be all set. And then I'm going to go over, grab Thumper, and um, try to breed her with one of my bucks. All right, let's fill this up. I fill it up all the way to the top because they grow outs and they can eat as much as they want. Water. I'm gonna let them have this because if there's an animal floating around at night, I want them to be able to hide in here. There you go. Somebody asked me in my last video what I do with all the dust um, from my hay. If you use the same hay that I do, which somebody does in our, one of my subscribers does and left a comment, but there's like this stuff left over. There's like a lot of it left over in the bottom of the hay bales in the packaging. So um, I've tried putting it in their feeder, kind of mixing it in with their food, but it just falls right through the, the bottom. Um, so sometimes I'll stick it in the bottom of um, the nesting boxes, just something for them to lay on, um, kind of use it as nesting material. These rabbits obviously don't need a nest box, but considering that it's cold outside and I have a predator lurking around the hutch, um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in there on the bottom, because they're, they're, they're grow out, so they'll be um, using it as a bathroom. So it's better to have a little something in there to kind of absorb. Shavings are a lot better for absorbing, but since I have this, I might as well use it. All right, and they're all set. Now I just have to breed mom and take care of the rest of the rabbits. But that's pretty easy. I mean, it's, it's a small litter. If it was a bigger litter, I probably would have separated them like I did my last litter. I had eight of them, um, so I had four in each. Um, but it's a small litter. There's only five of them, and they're all used to each other, so I'm not too concerned about them trying to 
the breed or anything. Um, so they're all set. Now we just gotta go take care of mom. All right, so I'm gonna breed her with Earl. So I'm gonna move everything out of here. Not everything, most stuff. All right, Earl, I'll be right back. She's such a pain in the butt when it comes to breeding. Um, sometimes it takes me two or three tries takes me a couple days to get her bread. My, uh, my brown dough, you put her in there, and within less than five minutes, you get three fall-offs, which is the way it should be. I'm gonna get her out of this corner. Come on. If you see her back feet up close to her, um, right under her body, then there's no chance of her breeding at that moment. You need her legs back and you need her legs to lift up in order for him to be able to breed with her. Come on, Thumper. So, um, so if you've watched my previous videos, um, one of my new does, Stormy, has been difficult to breed, which I'm surprised because she came from one of Lucky's litters, um, which is, Lucky's a extremely easy breeder, um, so I was hoping that she would be too, but that hasn't turned out to be the case, but I was actually able to get a fall off from her yesterday, um, and I literally had to hold her like this and pet her, and I was able to get a fall off, and I tried it again. Um, but I could only get one, so I need to try again today, one more time. Um, she very well could be pregnant, but um, it's always much better to get two or three, preferably three fall offs, so you can be confident that she is um, going to have babies. All right, I don't think she's going to breed, so I'll have to try again tomorrow. Come on, Thumper. There you go, Earl. I'll be right back. So these rabbits were fine when there was a predator because they all have their nesting boxes, which helps. They can jump in it and then the predator can't see them or anything. And they feel safer and more secure. So they have their nesting box and their resting mat, so they'll be okay. Could you imagine being a rabbit in here, not having a resting mat or a nesting box to hide in and the animals just staring up at you? That'd be terrifying. So um, I spoil them. I give them their nesting boxes in the winter and they have their resting mats, so they should be okay. All right, Lucky has five babies in here with her. I meant to grab more hay.
she's putting all the hay on top of her babies that I give her. Lucky, those are that hay is for you. They look like they're doing well. Yep. Chubby little ones. All right, so I brought a nesting box for Thumper. And I brought a new nesting box for Lucky's babies. They're big enough now where they could use this um, lower lip to get in and out easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch them over right now. going to take some of this fur and put it in the bottom so it's nice and soft. One, two, three. Four and five. I'm gonna grab as much of this fluffy stuff as I can. Stick it on top of them. And there we are, and they're all set. So they'll have that nest box until I wean them. So top off her water while I'm here. And she's all set. All right, and over here I got Thumper. She wouldn't breed, but I expected that. So I'll try again tomorrow and keep trying until I get her bred. I just put some Aspen shavings at the bottom, a little bit of hay, not too much. Just a little padding for her to have when she sleeps in there. And I'm also gonna give her her nesting um, mat. She has plenty of pellets. I'm gonna give her a little bit of hay because Thumper loves her hay. I noticed that some of my rabbits um, like their hay more than others. Um, my buck Earl, he, he won't eat the hay. If he has plenty of pellets, he won't even bother to eat the hay. So I make sure that I monitor how much um, feed I give him and then if I don't give him too much feed he'll eat the hay so um, I have to watch him but her she will eat the hay before she eats the pellet she loves her hay she's a good girl all right there you go mama normally I would leave a kit in here with her um, for the weaning process to slowly wean her but at the age that they're at I waited so long they're not there's no way that they're um they're nursing off of her at this point. All right. All right, so I weaned my rabbits and I wasn't able to rebreed Thumper. Um, she's always been difficult to breed. So I'm gonna have to keep trying to breed with breed her every day and see if I can get her bred. Um, usually I'll get one or two fall offs from her whenever she feels like breeding for me. So I'll be working on that the next couple days um, and uh, Stormy is bred. I got one fall off from her yesterday. Um, I was going to try to breed her again, but but since it's the first time I've bred her, I think I'm just going to leave her alone and count on that one fall off and see how it goes um, and see um, what she has for babies. So I'm going to wait a month um, and if she doesn't have babies, I'm going to try again um, and then I'll start aggressively trying to to get her bred. 
Um, so that was my day out here, um, taking care of my rabbits. Um, lots to do, lots to keep track of. Always make sure you document the dates because it can get away from you, especially with this last litter, the one I just weaned with Thumper's babies. Um, they kind of got away from me. Um, they're nine, nine weeks old, so um, that's a little old to be in with mom. I mean, you could start weaning as early as six weeks. So um, I usually do eight, so I'm a week off from what I usually do. Um, but we had a lot going on. We just processed rabbits um, last week. We processed eight rabbits and um, we just had a litter born. So there's been a lot going on to keep track of. So um, it got away from me, but they're weaned now. Um, they're in their grow out hutch and they're all set. They're due to be processed in three weeks. So um, always stuff going on. I keep, I keep the process moving and it's, um, it's really rewarding at the end of the day. So. Right, so it's the next day and I'm coming out to take care of the rabbits. It was snowing yesterday, it snowed all night long, and it's still snowing today. So we've gotten quite a few inches um, since yesterday, so check this out. Now that is a lot of snow. I mean, look how much snow that is. Probably should have brought something out to measure it, but it's definitely over a foot. So, all right, that's a lot of snow. So I have a lot of shoveling to do. Um, I'm gonna give them all water. And I also want to try to breed Thumper because as you saw, she wouldn't breed yesterday when I weaned her babies. Um, so I'm gonna try again and see how it goes. So yet again, Thumper's not breeding. I'm gonna have to try again tomorrow, which is unfortunate. It's always nice just to get it done one time. But with this rabbit, it takes a few times to get her bred. It's a little frustrating, but she's been a good mom. She's a good doe. She's just a little hard to get bred sometimes. So I'm gonna put her back, take care of all the rabbits and do some shoveling. Look at her, she's just not having it. All right, Bumper. You're not having it today, are you? It's all right, we're going back. We're going back. I know, I'm so mean. I take your babies away. And then the next day I try to breed you. And you just want to be left alone, huh? How do you like that snow? All right, home sweet home. All right. All right, I gotta get them all water, give them food. Lucky's doing well over here. She has her five babies. So Lucky wouldn't breed. I still love her, even though it's very frustrating, but 
she's a good doe. She's a good mom. Um, but this is all part of, you know, raising rabbits. It's not always perfect. There are some challenges. There are some learning curves. Um, I'm constantly learning new things. And, you know, it's going to take me a few more tries to get her bred. Um, but I'm going to keep trying because she's had many litters and she's a really great doe. Like I said, I still love her. Um, but I just wanted to show you, you know, this is raising rabbits, you know, the good, bad, ugly. Um, it's not always easy and I don't want you guys to think it's, you know, 100% great all the time. So, so I just wanted to show you a little bit of the struggles that I face when I raise rabbits. Um, and there's more too. You know, we're in the middle of winter. It's tough um, giving them water. Um, you know, I miss, obviously I miss having the water bottles because it's so much easier, but um, it's definitely important to come out here and check on them when it's freezing like this and all the snow. Um, but they're doing good. Uh, they have a winter coat on and they're thriving in this weather. So they're doing really well as long as the wind's off of them and they're not wet or anything. Um, but they're doing really good in their hutches. They have their nesting boxes. Um, my last video that I posted um, about raising them in winter weather. One thing that I thought of since I posted that video is rabbits, I think, adapt to different climates just like people do. Um, you know, I lived in Texas at one point and then we moved up here and the weather, the change in weather definitely has an effect on your body. Um, you have to get used to being in a warm climate or being in a colder climate. And I think that's the same for rabbits. I think that um, if you're raising rabbits in the south and you brought those same rabbits up here to the north, I don't think they would do very well. And vice versa, if I were to take my rabbits down south where it's really hot, you know, I don't think they would thrive at all. So I don't know. You know, that's just something I thought of. Um, I don't know how true it is, but if you apply it, you know, people are the same way. Um, I know I was when I moved in different areas of the country. So I'm sure it's the same for them. I mean, not that you'd be moving your rabbits across the country with you, but um, I definitely think that, you know, if you're raising rabbits down south, they're not gonna be the same rabbits that I have here um, up north. Um, even if they're the same breed, it, you know, I'm sure their body adjusts to different climates. So, um, just something I thought of, something I thought I'd share with you. Nothing real important. It's just a thought I had. Uh, another thing that I wanted to mention is the rabbits that I weaned from Thumper yesterday. Um, there's five of them and I am going to do a video, a processing video on, um, processing those rabbits. Um, I've been using one specific litter for my rabbit, um, meat rabbit series, which was the eight rabbits that I just recently processed, but we had some friends come over that wanted to learn the process. So I didn't end up, um, filming, um, processing those eight rabbits that I've been filming, um, throughout this rabbit series, but I am going to film these rabbits back here. There's five of them, Thumper's litter, they're pure silver fox rabbits. Um, 100%. Um, so I will definitely film that and take you along with me when I process them. I'm not, I'm by no means an expert at processing, but um, I get the job done. So look forward to that video that will be coming out in the coming weeks, probably in the next month or so. So keep an eye out for that. All right, so thanks for coming along with me today. I have a lot to do and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. Thank you.